Hey everyone, it's Angela with Predify Your Life, and we are on week two of our, um, I was going to say Christmas, no, summer vacation. Yay! It was a long May, and so I'm welcoming June, and with that, I decided I wanted to decorate my house for summer, and so this video is going to talk about my islandscape using a bunch of products from the Round Top Collection. I adore Round Top Collection, so they had some fun summer stuff that inspired me. So I'm going to show you how I decorated with it on my island, which can translate into tablescapes and also incorporate a craft project with this. So the inspiration for this project is flamingos. I am totally into flamingos right now. I mean, it's a bird and it's pink. What's not to like? I even bought a Kate Spade purse with flamingos on it. I'm into it. So let's take a look at my island. Okay, here is my kitchen island all decorated for summer in a flamingo theme. A lot of these products are the Round Top Collection. And I will give you a closer look in just a second. My husband and daughters really like this flamingo. He's very tall. I have really tall ceilings with no chandelier over the island. Um, so I can afford to do something very tall on my island. I, I look forward to, you know, decorating um, with height with the Halloween and Christmas. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So this first item from the Round Top Collection is the small flamingo steak. Now I know a lot of you may put your round top collection in your planters, but they can be brought inside. And it is put in a display pole, also by the round top collection, and accented with a bow. So that, so think about bringing those things that you typically put outside indoors. Isn't that fun? And then we have my magnet wheel also from the round top collection however i think this item is discontinued but all of the cute little magnets on it are current with the flamingo and the lime and the margarita and the lemon i just think it's so cute it's so summery it just makes you want to go to the beach then we're carrying it down with another margarita this can also be a steak in a plant, you know, like you can put in your planters or you could put it up here on the display, display pole. It comes with a pole to attach it to. But it, I like how it can also be on a countertop standing up like by itself. So I think that's really cool. Now this item is the cylinder jar in Round Top's Celebrate Every Day collection. What I like about this is this is a finial that can be taken off. It comes with just a regular finial and you can get interchangeable finials to go with the celebration or the holiday. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, I wanna get, I think, a paper towel rack. I think that would be cool. There's a lot of different items in the Celebrate Every Day that can change out the finials for the, cel uh, for the holiday or the celebration that you're celebrating. So I look forward to getting more of that collection. Now let's get to the actual place setting. I didn't fully set this place with the silverware and the dishes. I just wanted to give you a general idea of what you could do. And this can, you know, this can obviously transfer over to a whole tablescape. But let's start with the placemats. These are woven placemats with a shell detail on the edge. I got these at World Market. You could always buy your own inexpensive mat and hot glue shells that you get from the craft store or even the beach if you're so lucky to live on the beach. So that's a fun little detail. Then I bought chalkboard chargers at Hobby Lobby and took Kraft Oracle 631 white vinyl and cut out, designed and cut these words out using my Silhouette Cameo. 
I just thought I would add a cute summery beach detail on a plain charger. And with it being a 631, I can take it off. Now, it may, it may, you know, it may leave some marks or it may take off some of the surface, but it's chalkboard. Spray it with some more chalkboard spray paint. Done. You're fine. So that's something easy and inex inexpensive to do. If you don't have a chalkboard charger, go, go to the dollar store. Go get an inexpensive charger. Spray paint it with, with chalkboard spray. Easy. Now let's talk about the napkins. The napkins are actually uh, from the bandana aisle in Hobby Lobby. I didn't have time to go search for pink napkins and I thought well let's go on the bandana aisle and see and sure enough they had light pink and dark pink. I layered them and I put them through the round top collection metal napkin ring holder and what I love about this is that you can put all of their little magnets based on the season right there on the napkin holder, the, na uh, the napkin ring rather. Isn't that cute? And then I just did a little flourish with some extra ribbon that I had. I thought that would look cute. And then this is my little what I call place card. Now, yes, it's for my husband and me, but why not? Why not have some fun? Why not make, make it special for your family? So let's take a look at how I made this. Okay, the materials that you're going to need to make the little place cards are a container. I got this from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale for $2. Some floral styrofoam, some fun foam, some little shells or something that you want to fill your container with. Ribbon, and I have Oracle 631 Hobby Vinyl. And then, of course, the Round Top Collection Flamingo Magnet. So the first thing we need to do is put our name on the container. Now you could use a paint pen, you can use stickers if you don't have vinyl, whatever works for you. But I have a Silhouette Cameo which I use to cut out my husband's name and this again is Oracle 631 Craft Vinyl. It's not permanent so I can peel it off later. So I'm just going to take that off and then take out the centers of the stuff I don't need which is called weeding. You're weeding out the other parts of the vinyl that you don't need. So let me get that out. Okay, I have his name all ready to go. Then I'm going to take some transfer tape and let's see, I have a little squeegee thing here. And then I'm going to peel that right off, set my vinyl aside, I'm going to try to do this upside down, place it where it looks good to you, and again, squeegee it down, and then we're going to peel it back. Alright, so we've got the name ready to go. Now the next thing we need to do is add in our little pieces of styrofoam. Now I'm going to just dab a couple of daubs of hot glue. Nothing serious. I mean you're not really supposed to do hot glue with styrofoam but it's not going to matter for this. So we just put in a little bit of styrofoam doesn't have to be even it's not anything um, too specific then I cut out some fun foam you can get at the craft store in the kids crafts aisle I measured this earlier it was about two inches by four inches so I cut this out just with scissors and all I'm going to do is just place it right in there I don't even have to hot glue this it, it fits snugly in there and I, I may want to use this for something else, so I'm not going to get it too permanent. I could hot glue it down, but for this project, I'm not. Now at this point, I'm going to tie my ribbon 
and um, then we'll put the rest of the stuff in there. Okay, now all I did was I took some ribbon I had. I bought this at Hobby Lobby in, over in the bridal department. And of course I used my coupon because it wasn't on sale this week. All I did was cut a piece and I t knotted it and then I cut little dovetail ends. Now I did this first because once I get my little flamingo in there, it's just easier to have this already done. So now what we're gonna do is decide where we want to put our flamingo. And I like him kind of on the side. So all I'm gonna do is just push down into that styrofoam. And it's as simple as that. I mean, really, it can't get any simpler. But how cute is that, right? Okay. And then we're just gonna finish it off by placing in our little seashells and starfish. Now I could of course glue that, hot glue that down, but like I say, I want to be able to reuse this. So I'm just gonna place it in there. And you have a cute little place card. Easy. And lastly is a little detail on my chairs. I just used some coordinating ribbon, made a bow, and then added the cute little flamingo ornament also from the round top collection. It just hooks onto the bow and brings all of the flamingo from the chairs to the place settings, all the way up to the island. It says summer, it says flamingos, so I hope this was a fun islandscape. Again, you can easily transfer this whole look to an entire table. You could transfer it to a bar setting. Just some fun ideas. I hope this inspires you and I hope you have a great summer. Thanks for watching.